sick. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> sick. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Anderson's TV. My name is Oz, and I'm here next to... I'm Tom, product specialist for Archeria. Wicked. Before you explain this to me like I'm five, yeah. can you give the people out there some headlines on what we're looking at here? What is this? So this is Astrolab. And this is a brand new type of performance synthesizer, keyboard, stage piano hybrid from Arturia, which is a brand new direction uh, for these guys that leans into their existing technology of virtual instruments and synthesizers and effects, uh, but packs all of that power into a performance keyboard. Yeah, man, mate, this is, this is so cool. I, th I feel like every time we have an Arturia product on here, me and Jack are both sitting there fizzing, waiting to, waiting to hear it, because there, there's something unique about the sound of Arturia products. They just, they yeah. just, they just hoof. Yeah. They just, they just... Totally, oh, they, cool. they, 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 they get the pleasure. They, they do, they really do. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Oh, yeah. Um, and this is, this is, I mean, I'm, I'm excited. It looks wicked, first of yeah. all. I really like the finish on it. Oh, the wood, the aesthetic's the beautiful, wood. isn't it? It is it's really like nice. I really like the, the brush, the brush yeah. bit and stuff like that. The LEDs on the oh, mold Yeah, this is, this is quite cute as well. I like yeah, this. And, the, and, and this is like a totally new uh, UI designed for Archeria as well. So uh, for those with sort of uh, laser-focused eyes, they'll notice that that happens to be a CS80. That sort of leans into me explaining exactly what this thing is. So uh, Go through it, then. Let's, let's do it, man. Let's get so, into this. So um, I'm sure you're aware that Arturia makes some absolutely world-class virtual instruments and uh, effects uh, processing um, software. And uh, that's exactly what is in Astrolab. So Astrolab is part of the Analog Lab Pro ecosystem. So uh, first of all, if I just explain what Analog Lab is, Analog Lab is a uh, software instrument or a software library that allows you to sort of navigate presets uh, within the sort of V collection instruments, allows you to get to sounds, all that kind of stuff really, really quickly. This is designed to perfectly integrate with that and also allow you to take those sounds from the studio oh, to the stage. Oh, I like that. So it's all of that power within Analog Lab, including the V collection instruments, uh, condensed into a really simple user interface. So you've got everything from pianos, electric pianos, organs, da da da, all the way through to kind of more synthy stuff, pads, leads, keys, all that sort of stuff. So you've got everything from like CS80, the Oberheims, the Prophet 5, yeah. Mini Moog, even like a Buchler Music Easel. And for me, pigments. Okay. There's pigment sounds in here. So there's never been a sort of pigments hardware ever. And this is this is packing all of that functionality into it. So I mean, all I know is that while we were setting up in here and just getting it ready to film this thing, Tom was just playing away, go through some patches, and it, it's just this is building off. This is yeah. building off, man. Yeah. Where, where, do you, where do you want to start with this thing? How, how, do you want to, how do you want to go about this? So thing? I think because it's sort of that sort of stage piano vibe. If we start with some pianos, so I think it's good to explain as well with uh, with Astrolab in particular. It's not using samples. Mm. You're actually using DSP yeah. and physical modeling. So uh, for for those of you out there that aren't familiar with Piano V, which is an amazing sounding kind of uh, piano. This is actually using uh, physical modeling to make sounds, so it's not samples. So when you're interacting with these sounds, the piano included, you're actually interacting with the DSP, the actual synth itself. So we've got piano sounds in here, so... Um, then you've got the ability to kind of change characteristics of that, the physical modeling domain. So mm. you can get like that sort of lo-fi. Which is the beauty as well, because if that was a sample, it wouldn't it wouldn't come across the same way. Yeah, no. be, it being able to be able to manipulate. Yeah, exactly, so you'd be yeah. able to EQ, filter, compress, yeah, all that yeah. kind of stuff, but you wouldn't be able to change like the actual brightness of the strings. Yeah, yeah. So if you want to get to sort of like that kind of like lo-fi, hip hop oh. piano kind of thing, quite quickly, it's quite easy to get there. There's a lot of different models of piano. So the first one in the subcategory of piano is American Grand. If we navigate up, you've got From the Acoustic kit. Grand. So this is uh, all of the kind of um, presets from within Analog Lab. So I should say, if you have user presets mm. in Analog Lab uh, and you connect Astrolab to Analog Lab, they will appear in okay. here as well. So if you're someone that's using Analog Lab for your writing process and you've got some favorite sounds, they'll just appear in here. So if we go... So this is another. Quite instantly. Ooh, all the effects right there. Make it quite wonky and yeah, detuned. Quite. That's cool. 
So make it sound very unpiano like quite oh, quickly. Right. And that's thanks to, like I say, the, the physical modeling capabilities in yeah. there as well. So it's the speed at which you did that as well. I, th I, I really like that. Just to, just to take it from something that's so, you know, you're so yeah. um, used to and then immediately make it just cool. Yeah, so, um. <laughs> so uh, yeah, again, to talk about analog, any, anyone that's familiar with that user interface, these are the macro controls that right. appear in Analog Lab and they appear exactly here. So it's a, it's a one to one interface. Um, I've been showing this to a couple of people that are Analog Lab users and I've not had to explain a single yeah. thing to them. No, <laughs> I know what that does. Oh, I know what that good, does. Man. So there's everything from that you'd expect in like a kind of stage instrument. You've got pianos, you've got like electric pianos. So you've got like roadsy sort of thing in there as well, through to like kind of organs. very hands-on with that. It goes from sounding very organy to like super doomy quite quick. Oh. Um, and then in bass, obviously, you're going to have everything from your MS-20, yeah. uh, your kind of Moog modular. So you can have a polyphonic Moog modular. It's absolutely it's amazing. I'll you do bass like no one else, man. Yeah, exactly. So and then you've got like a kind of a, your kind of mini moog -y. If anyone can model a filter well. <laughs> so the, these, generally speaking, these uh, controls, you can make them kind of whatever you want, but generally speaking, brightness on a synth is going to be filter, yeah. timbre, it's going to be resonance, yeah. and then time and movement, they tend to be like, uh, obviously, time and movement based effects, so it could be an LFO, it could be an envelope, that kind of yeah. thing, however that kind of preset's designed. And I guess there was an argument that you, you probably could have screened pretty more things on here, but also like that would ruin this look as well. I think it looks yeah. so clean. I don't know, man, I like it, man. So there are there are a couple of shift commands, so you can make, uh, I'm not sure how well it's coming through the top down, but you've got like shift commands for each thing. So you've got the brightness, time, time and movement, but there's also a three band EQ as well. So if you're on a stage and you need more bass yeah. for that sound, I can't imagine why you'd need more bass for that sound, but it is as simple as, you can totally do that really, really quickly. So depending on what your kind of stage environment is, and if you've got a really awful front of house engineer, because yeah. we've all had one of those at some point, absolutely, uh, you can totally craft your sound. And you can actually save that on a kind of preset base level as well. So if you're going into like a chorus section and you want a bit more low end on your Moog bass or whatever kind mm. of patch you're using, you can actually save that on a preset basis, which is really cool. So punching in the chorus, more low end, or if you've got a guitarist taking a solo or yeah, something like yeah, that. So yeah. yeah. Yeah, so you've got um, loads and loads and loads and loads of instruments in here. So if we go into the UI quickly. Oh, I like that. Yeah, so you've got this brand new type of UI. So this gives you all of the subcategories categories here, plus a couple extra as well. So you'll notice one here called Vocal. Yeah. It has actually got mic pre's on the back, oh, stereo nice. in. I'll cheerio make a vocoder. You can Love totally vocoder. do a vocoder. <laughs> So you've got all the kind of fast categories here, uh, and then also some extras here as well. But you can actually uh, navigate for uh, instruments as well. So I can show you the instruments that are in here. So ARP 2600, Augmented Piano. So the Augmented series is a fairly recent addition for Arturia. So the name sort of suggests what it is. It's Augmenting Synthesis with Acoustic Instruments. So you've got all of that stuff in here. So piano, strings, voices, music easel. You can have a polyphonic music case, it's nuts. <laughs> Clavinet, CMI, CS80, or, you know, everything. You don't, you're not lacking kind of instruments yeah, yeah, in this yeah. thing at all. Um, but yeah, you can go, so I was mentioning pigments earlier, that's something I was particularly excited about. You go straight into here. So you'll notice this has two parts to it now, so you can leave me onto the, the parts. This is actually pigments layered with piano V, so. Hear the sparkle? Oh. So that's an acoustic piano with a sort of sparkly uh, element to it in the back end. So. so it's doing that little fizz out. And there's lots of that sort of stuff in here as well. Um, but let's get to something that's a bit more kind of pigmency. Pipe organ, no, hard bass. And you can see I've reached for that brightness control because I knew that was going to be a cut off. Yeah. It's a sim. Generally speaking. Oh. You can go from that oh. straight back to 
<laughs> you know, it's, it's, it's very, very diverse. Yeah, man the, after my heart with some of these sounds, man. The, the amount of stuff you can get out of it, obviously because you have such a wide collection of yeah, instruments yeah. to choose from, is, is really, really impressive. So yeah, everything, you know, kind of category-wise, but you also have this playlist button, and this is something that sort of, uh, we haven't got a playlist loaded at the moment, but what you can do is if you're playing a gig and then you've got preset one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, mm. you can make that as a playlist. Uh, you can do that in Analog Lab, make all your playlists and everything, and drop them in here. It's absolutely seamless, the integration between the two. So it's really designed to take that sort of workflow of I'm writing in the studio with my software. I don't want to take my computer interface MIDI keyboard. Yeah. I want to take this out, get all of the workflow benefits of this uh, and more as well. Other features I should have probably mentioned. So on release, there is going to be an iOS app. Um, you'll notice... I've just touched that blank space there. Yes. It's almost phone sized. Almost phone sized. Right. The idea there is you're going to be able to have a companion app open to build your playlists, to further edit sounds, uh, give you a little bit more navigation capabilities beyond what's on the front panel as okay. well. Um, so, should we have a listen to a couple more I sounds? Think, yeah, 100%. Let's, let's listen to some stuff. So, if we go into sequence, uh, what have we got? Crystal layer one. I have no idea what this is going to sound like. But let's. Wasn't expecting that. No. <laughs> right, next. Because I quite like the sequence stuff. Work sequences, I mean. That's cool. Super cool. I really love the the reaching for the effects and just having it instantly. And oh, this sounds so great. As yeah, well. so I'm, I've sort of glazed over the effects a little bit. It's probably a good opportunity for me to explain them. So um, within Analog Lab and within Astro Lab, you get four effect slots. Um, so they are labelled uh, FXA, FXB, and then your delay and reverb, um, and then you've got kind of shift commands for the intensity, um, and you can actually edit the effects. So. A lot of these are from, uh, for, for people that aren't aware, Arturia make a suite of effects called FX Collection. They're absolutely awesome. A lot of those uh, algorithms and models are actually in here, plus a couple that aren't like WAS that you'd mm, expect for like mm. a clav or something like that, or kind of ambulations Amsin, yeah. as well, which is, a, a t again, a totally new, new thing for Arturia. So if we go to, let's just say, Chorus, you can turn the chorus on, you can change the LFO for it. Oh, for, you've got like all the controls that you need uh, to to basically control that chorus. Um, one thing that is going to be available as well is you can plug in a MIDI controller, um, so something like a knobby box, like a BeatStep Pro, for mm. example, and then uh, assign those knobs to functions on the front panel. So let's say you want to get an ADSR, you can actually just put a knobby box there or there, and then you've got the ability to do it, or if you want draw bars for your yeah, hand end or man. something like that. So you can really, there's enough on the front panel to really get stuck in and make sounds, but uh, also if you want to. Delve a Take bit it further. Deeper, yeah. yeah. If we go for a nice big chunky pad, uh, underwater, this is a nice one. Let's have a look at some more pads. So, evolving pad. So, this is a Profit. I talked over a sound. Shouldn't do that. <laughs> <laughs> so, this is a Profit VS sound. Um, so. I, I just love any any patch where you can just crank everything and it still sounds great. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? yeah, yeah, yeah. Super good. Uh, let's find one more. Oh, we haven't listened to any of the augmented stuff yet. So this will be an augmented patch. So 
some sort of mm. strings mixed with some sort of synth. Well, that's got some nice airiness to it, mm. that one. Very dreamlike. Yeah, beautiful. Super nice. Mm. Pick a category, sir. Pick a category. Where should we go? We've we've done pads. Okay. <laughs> well, I feel like we should do some strings. Strings. Some strings. There's some weird strings. Strings. Stuff. There's got to be some weird. That, strings. That's got that's got me ready for some weird strings All now. Right, let's find voltage ensemble. I mean, that is that is basically that's perfect, good. isn't it? Oh wait, we need, we need. Stereo is nice, isn't it? Nice. Brass? We haven't gone brass Let's yet. Let's do it. Oh, jump again. Do I dare try and play jump by oh, Van Halen? Uh, oh. No. I know what I'm going to play. I'm going to play it badly. <laughs> See? <laughs> Told ya. <laughs> I can play something. <laughs> really like that sound, though. Yeah. Oh, that's a lovely sound. I absolutely love the revabs and delays in this. It As sounds you probably great. Oh, well, that's what I was saying. It's just like I feel like yeah, whenever you're grab, you're reaching for it, grabbing it, moving mm. something, but it never sounds bad. It just. Uh, I just, uh, I just, yeah. Yeah, the sounds are really, really well curated. Yeah, it's you know, good Arturi have some absolutely fantastic sound designers working on this stuff. So I feel like some keyboards just assassinate you. Do you know what I mean? You're like, oh, I'll try that, and it just it's dead. Kills it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, it's the global pitch. Like, <laughs> it's global pitch, and it's gone into dog hearing range. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Done that. Done that. I think if we get up, yeah. Yeah, one sort of kind of. Uh, I feel like you should just close your eyes. And... What random preset? Yeah, it's yeah. yeah. Go on. Please be good. Oh! Classic Moog style ladder filter. We lost all the low end. Yeah. Wicked. I like that a lot. So yeah, so uh, other little bits and pieces, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi enabled as well. Uh, we mentioned that you can process external audio, yeah. MIDI control, seamless integration with Analog Lab as well. Yeah, it's cool. It's everything you need. This is really cool, man. Right, Tom, we've, we've touched on the amount of stuff in here. I mean, how much, is there a number on actually kind of how much, how many instruments are actually in here? But So everything that's within Analog Lab Pro is yeah. currently in here, and as instruments get added, yeah. it will get added to the platform as right. well. So you're sort of you're not buying it as it is now. It's a sort of pass. It's a bit, bit future proofed. Kind yeah, of. exactly. So you know, if Arturia bring out I don't know X Y Z synthesizer, you will get access to that once it becomes part of the Analog Lab platform. Oh mate, this is so cool. So yeah, you're you're, you're not buying a one and done. It's gonna very much it's evolve. evolve. So yeah. Wow. Yeah, so you've already got 30 plus synths, pianos, that kind of stuff in there, plus all the effects. There's going to be even more. Coming. That's the mid, that's the bare minimum. Bare mins. Okay, fine. Bare mins, you've got loads, <laughs> but there will be more. So there was one last feature that um, Tom showed me before we started filming this. Uh, it's got a looper. 
Yes. Got Luther. Simple little thing. We're not going to go too far into it, but um, just just quick demonstration. Yeah. Right so now. yeah, really simply, it can sync to internal clock. It can uh, sync to external clock. So if you're running it with like a main stage rig or mm -hmm. something like that, then you can get your looper to sync to external tempo. So really simple. Terrible keys playing incoming. <laughs> So yeah, looper, really simple. So it's a MIDI looper. So if I now switch to a different... So if you've got like a phrase that you want to try out with different presets, yeah. or different instruments even. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. I like that. That's nice to like kind of um, audition patches and stuff like that as well. Yeah. That's pretty cool. I yeah. like that. Okay, well, I think we've gone through everything we need to go through. This is out 9th of April, you said? Yep. 9th of April. Okay, so if that's today, uh, please check the links below um, and uh, see all the things that we've forgotten to talk to, tell you about. Uh, and uh, yeah, man, this will be in stock. And uh, how much is this going to be? Do you know? One between 1399 and 1429. Uh, Wicked. Yeah, kind of ballpark. Okay, well, there's your price. Ish. Um, there's your price, ish. Okay, <laughs> right, we're going to play out on some stupid sounds. Yes. But um, please like and subscribe, guys. And uh, yeah, I'll see you soon. Cheers, Tom. <laughs>